Hey folks, this is Johnny, and in this video, we're going to look at the hardware integration between Studio One and some of their hardware, and we're going to be focusing on the Atom SQ today. And if I go here to the classroom, you can see I have the Atom SQ window pulled up. So if you have a system that doesn't have a fader port or any other kind of a control console, and you really want to automate with hardware, let's say you want to automate a fader but you really don't want to use a knob to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the touch strip here um, on the Atom SQ for controlling things like fader and pan. So there is a control link option, so you'll be able to actually choose any control in Studio One or one of its plugins to control with this, but I'm going to show you some of the presets first. So if you are in a screen like this and you don't see anything for that, go to Instrument. And you use these buttons to uh, navigate to the strip. You can see it right there. There's the strip. Now, once you actually get there, go ahead and hit this button at the top, and it actually makes that active. So if you turn this knob, you can see that it changes the setting. So let's start with something simple like the fader. And there we go. There we go. Channel volume. So now that that is set, this will control the fader on any selected track so now there we go i chose the easy drummer track and i can go to this one and i can move that around and i can go to this one and you can see that it updates on the uh on the nms for feedback so that when you uh start you're actually starting in the actual position of the fader let's move this down a little bit or else that's going to be way too loud there we go. So let's uh, choose something else. There we go. Let's do the pan. And there we go. Now we can actually pan these two. So I usually like my guitars pan hard left and right. There you go. Just like that. And it makes it easy. Okay. So now the control link part. Let's, let's do this. There we go. Now we're set to control link. So now you can see if I touch the strip, it now shows up in the control link box here. So I can go ahead and open up pretty much any plugin that I want. And I believe third party plugins work as well uh, if they respond to control link. So it really depends on the plugin. But for instance, I'm going to control this drive knob here and hit the touch strip so now each of those show up here i'm going to hit the link in the middle and now i am controlling this and of course i can right click and i can say automate and it'll add an automation lane and then i can put it to touch or to write and boom i'm actually automating the particular knob there i can go to this knob well let's go to this knob first let's go here and let's disconnect that and then i'm going to hit this one and I'm going to reconnect it. Now I'm controlling that one. And you can do this with just about any control in any plugin, including third party plugins that allow for controlling to control it. So it makes it really easy, especially if you don't have a fader porter, you don't have a piece of hardware that you can link up. So this is a great option. If you are an Atom SQ user, this is great for everything from mixing to creating effects and all of that. So cool. I hope that this was helpful and I'll see you all in the next video.